Hello everyone, I'm here for the Goddess Provisions October box. Um, I just received this yesterday and I wanted to get the video up. I'm kind of excited about this one. I actually had a previous box that I had laying around and I just thought, wow, this one's a lot bigger and I, and I compared them and I just got really excited because I thought, well, they've never done one this size. So I'm really curious to see what's in this one. I uh, have been getting the Goddess Provisions boxes now for the whole year, um, since the beginning of 2022. And I decided, last month I skipped, actually, confession, I was just gonna cancel it. Um, but I just thought, oh, I'll just skip it. And then I was gonna like just stop getting the boxes because I just kind of, you know, can't always be getting every single box. And I just thought I need a break. And, but something about this month kind of caught my attention. I saw the theme. I don't know exactly the theme, but I saw something about like sorcerer or something. And I just thought, ooh, that sounds intriguing. And I'm actually quite happy that I got it, um, being that it's obviously a bigger box. And so anyways, uh, let's just get started. I, um... I want to just check out the theme real quick. Ooh. <laughs> um, so, this is the card. And yes, it's Enchanted Sorceress. So, that is the theme for the month. I will um, wait till the end to look at all the items. So, I'm just going to pull everything out one by one. And see what we got here. So, the first thing that's coming out at me is this little pouch here. This cute little stars on it. Looks like a necklace or something. Yes, it is crystal ball necklace. My magic protects me. I can't tell if it's like, yeah, it looks like it's gold, a gold color. Um, it has like a little design on the bottom. So it kind of moves around like a crystal ball and it looks like it sits up there like that. And it says crystal balls have been traditionally used in scrying, divination and gazing. To care for your necklace, avoid uh, submerging in water, clean with a soft cloth. It's 14 karat gold plated alloy featuring obsidian stone. Okay, so that's cool, this is obsidian. And is this an exclusive God of Provisions? Yeah, so this is just an obsidian crystal ball necklace and it looks like it has like these little, um, it's like a half moon or like, crescent moon on the side. It almost looked like it had like little inserts of stones, but it just catches it in the light. And so that's pretty cute. So what they have to say here about it is that it's a $26 value and it's just the same information I read about. Um, says that this necklace can serve as a reminder that you that your future is in your hands I like that cool <clears throat> and then the next thing you see is this thing it says the cottage witch I got my um, mug here today I love it all the witchy things. Okay, what do we have in here? It's wrapped up pretty good, actually. It says, practical magic face and body milk. There's a little witch in all of us. 
I love that. It's um got uh looks like mostly distilled water, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, obsidian oil, sweet almond oil. <clears throat> Lou cotton stuck reddish root ferment, lavender oil, coconut fruit extract. So yeah, ros rosemary, it seems pretty good. Sorry, it's so hard to open. I like that it's in a glass container that I have a pet peeve about plastic. Wow, that smells really good actually. It's like a really light consistency. It seems like it's whipped. I like that. It smells really good. It really smells like lavender. Strong on lavender, which I'm not bummed about. Um, and they are saying that this is actually a $32 value. Wow. Cottage, witch, cottage Wicks Practical Magic Face and Body Milk. Invite peace and protection and add a touch of glamour magic to your routine with this lavender and rosemary hydrating face and body lotion. And they also have a coupon code I will show you guys if you're interested. But yeah, wow, that's really nice. So far, I'm actually really loving this box. So the intuition was correct. Okay. Next we have this big item here I can't I have to open because it's, it's this cute little tin. Um, of course, I didn't bring anything to open it with, but let's see if my nails. Uh. All right, hold on one second. I'm breaking my nail. Grab something real quick. scratch this lovely tin, so I'll be careful. So this looks like it's a goddess provisions um, item that they make. Exclusive item. All right, got the plastic off. And let's see what we got here. In this ritual kit, I love this tin. It says moon magic ritual. Under the light of a full moon, fill your vial with water and set on a windowsill. Cleanse this smoky quartz crystal and place it next to your vial to infuse the water with the crystal's essence. Leave overnight, use the infused, crystal infused moon water in rituals or meditations to release negativity. Wow, and it tells you everything that's in it. Super cute little purple wrapping. Got a little miniature tong set here. Dust to dust. Um, this must be <clears throat> the smoky quartz crystal. This is actually a good size, bigger than normal. For example, this is the ones we would get in the past. So it's a bit bigger. Um, and then the tongs. This is a set of brass tongs to assist you in lighting incense or charcoal when cleansing your sacred spaces. We could have used this in um, that Mercury retrograde kit <laughs> a few months back. This is the, is this glass? It says, <clears throat> this is a mini vial, perfect for holding ritual moon water, anointing oil or crystal essences. 
That looks like plastic. I'm not really happy about that, but what are you going to do? And then, oop, this is, it says an organic essential oil blend of bergamot tea tree to provide strength and balance. Cool. This tin is super cute. So it says, <clears throat> you guys see everything, see everything in here. While I'm opening this, I'll read you. It says, personalizing your altar kit. This kit is the, this, I'm sorry, this kit is great for traveling and encouraging your inner strength. Use it as a foundation to create your own altar kit with additional ritual tools to begin Cleanse your kit and sacred space. Set an intention for what you'd like to call it during your practice. You can use this kit to create moon water in the following ritual or meditate with the healing energies of this smoky quartz. That is very cool. Other than the plastic jar, I love it very much. Man, I'm having a hard time opening this. I just want to smell it real quick. Feels like this is in glass. <clears throat> I have a pet peeve about essential oils in plastic because they they break down the plastic. So I'm happy they didn't do that. Yeah, that does. Um, what do they say is in there? Tea tree. And bergamot. Yeah, it definitely smells more like the tea tree than the bergamot, but um, this is pretty cool. And it says that it's a $20, $25 value. It says a perfect kit for on the go magic or to build your altar. This ritual kit comes with tongs, glass vial, thermal energy, um, Essential oil blend and a smoky quartz crystal. Create your own moon water with the ritual included or use this kit as the foundation for your travel altar. <clears throat> That's very cool. So yeah, this is their stone. Their stone included in the kit. They just put it inside the tin. So that's everything in there. I like these little tongs are cute. They look like copper, but I guess they're brass. All right, let's move on. Oh, next thing I see is this cute little notepad. It says Terra Notepad, 100% recycled paper. Everything's difficult to open it. <laughs> um, this is a, might be an exclusive goddess provisions item as well. Okay. So it looks like on the top here has the fool, the magician. Oh. Well, that one came off. Have to be careful because um, looks like they're not um, glued very. They're not very on there, but it's all different, um, all the different tarot, major arcana, and it kind of keeps rotating back and forth. It's just the major arcana up here, so that's cool. And they say that this is a $12 value. I don't know about that, but, but it's pretty cute. It says, keep track of your to-do to do's or record your brilliant ideas on this 100% recycled paper notepad. Each colorful page channels the energy of one of the major Akana cards. I will definitely use that, but I don't know about that $12 value. Um, so there's that. 
I mean, so far, like the value of this box, I'm, I'm pretty happy with though. Like for being $33, I don't know if I mentioned that. That's the cost of this box. It's $33 and it, that includes the price of them bringing it to your home, includes shipping. So $33 out the door is not bad. And this looks like the last thing. This is probably why the box was big. Um, Mystic Messages Heat Changing Mug. Ooh. Actually have my tea kettle nearby. So we have this adorable, cute little mug. I mean, it's a smaller mug than I like big mugs, but for like a small little beverage, that would be perfect. And it's got, um, I like the design, but I guess it's a, oh, it's got this in the front and this, or this could be the front and that could be the back. It's two different designs. <clears throat> it says hand wash only. It says, it's a Mystic Messages heat changing mug. Add a little mysticism to your morning or evening routine with the heat changing mug. Add eight ounces of hot water or coffee to your mug and watch as magical illusions, <clears throat> I'm sorry, magical illustrations appear. No, mug is not microwave or dishwasher safe and it's a $28 value. Okay, cool, well let's, let's see if we can make a color change. Got some hot water here. Which sides do we see here? I say we do this side. I wonder how long it takes to change. But we'll see. <laughs> We will see. Um, oh, do you see that? The answer is yes. Oh, and then a little um, message on the back. Today. What does that say? Today will be magical. I love that. That's so cool. And then it has like these little keys and um, like little stars, purple. So all the, th the things that it magically appear are like in purple. And it's a gold color. That's really cool. I can't say I have anything like that. Awesome. Well, I'm really happy with this box. Um, let me know what you guys think. Did you guys get this box? Um, what's your favorite item? For me, I think that um, it's gonna have to be the mug and then the, the lotion um, because it smells so good and I know how I'll get use out of it. Um, it's a really nice consistency and I can tell it's like nice quality um, items. And um, I guess I would I would go number one, number two, um, and it's a toss up for the necklace and then the kit, and then um, I like the smoky quartz um, obviously, and then the notepad I'll use. So yeah, everything um, I like except the the little plastic bottle, but I'm sure I'll find a use for that. Um, but like I said, I don't particularly care for plastic. Um, but I love this tin too. I'll probably, I don't know if I'll put everything back in here or use this for something else. But yeah, I think overall, um, Goddess Provisions did a good job for this month. So this is everything in here if you guys want to pause and read about it.
and I will put a link down below if you guys want to check it out. I don't know the theme for next month, or I don't know if any of these boxes are left, but you guys can go check them out. Yeah, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you guys are all well and enjoying your fall season so far, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great day.